Auga. Who is ready to start a podcast? Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 97. 97. How fantastic is that? Hmm? Oliver, come up. Come up if you're coming. Uh, okay, so here's the Della Russo, fellas and ladies. Uh, today I'm feeling very strange. Uh, the anxiety is uh, strong with this one. I don't know. I don't know why. Like, uh, the slightest thing will put me off kilter the whole day. And it drives me crazy. It drives me nuts. It really does. And that's what today is. It's just one of those weird days. It's Monday for me. It's Wednesday for you. Uh, It's just... uh, It's one of those days. Just one of those days where my brain is... Fucking with me. My brain is fucking with me. My brain says, hey, guess what? Here's all the things that could go wrong. And it mm, probably will go this way. And it never does, but... You know, when it comes to anxiety and depression, which uh, if you've been watching this podcast, you know... It's a part of my life. Something I got to deal with. Um, Yeah, so today's episode is not going to be as energetic as normal. Uh, Hopefully the episode on Friday will be a little bit more cheerful. Uh, But I'm going to, I know, I'm going to try to do what I can. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and, and mope the whole time. Um, but yeah, so let's just jump right into it, shall we? Now, I, I, so here's the card for today, okay? Uh, not a lot going on in the world still, and, uh, with the, uh, bullshit I'm dealing with right now in my brain, uh, between that combination, it's not, you know, this episode's going to be garbage. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I just, I got to do this, though. This is something I have to do. I've told myself I'm committing to this podcast no matter what, no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing. I have to do the podcast. And you know what? It's, it's, I like doing it. It's, it's great. Obviously, it's not going to be as good if I'm somewhere else. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to bring all this equipment with me. Um. Well, maybe I could. I don't know. But what was I trying to get at? I can't even. Like my brain is just scrambled right now. It's so scrambly. I don't even know what to talk about. The stuff on here is. Yeah, it's not that great. It's not. And I'm wearing my friggin' NASA shirt, which I wore already a few days ago. But you know what? I don't care. All right? I just feel like a strange object. It feels like my brain was just put through... Uh, like a rotisserie. And now they put it back in my head. And I gotta deal with it. It's so weird. It's so it's so bullshit how the smallest little things will put me completely off balance. Yesterday I was feeling the anxiety. And then today it was uh, definitely anxiety-ridden, and I was fine at one part of the day, and then 
another part of the day came and then it was just like uh I don't know it just felt uh not right something was going something's not right in my brain and I am still going to therapy and I am on a new medication now you might say oh the medication's fucking with you well maybe but this is uh I felt this before so it's not like it's not it's not something new to me this is something I felt many a times even before the medication so the, obviously the medication isn't doing shit I don't think I don't even know if the me- if any medication will do anything to be honest like it's not and I'm not saying like medication is the is the you know go to or the the one stop shop to solve all your problems cuz obviously it isn't there's other things you got to do like eating properly exercising um uh, meditation breathing techniques there's all kinds of shit you got to worry about and do uh and which I do but I don't always keep up with it all the time I don't know it's just a bunch of malarkey if you ask me I want to see what the weather is what's the weather weather it's 24 degrees outside right now <sighs> oh my god it gets hotter oh no that's the next day never mind so where are we at here? Okay. Why am I looking at the weather while I'm doing a podcast? Why? Why, Olive? You got anything interesting to say, Olive? Because right now, I'm a bag of bones. I'm a bag. I'm a boosh. I'm a goosh. Gobbly gook. If I just, you know, just give me some time, hopefully by tomorrow I'll be back to normal, but (sighs) I don't know, I don't know, it's hard to say. Sometimes this lasts for a week. Sometimes it lasts for a month. No, I don't think it's ever lasted a full month. (sighs) But it's not fun. You can't, like, if I could just, I wish I could put my brain in some, in your body right now so you could understand what I'm feeling. And maybe you do because you feel it yourself. But when when I'm in these when I'm in this state of mind, it's hard to it's hard to do anything really because my mind just constantly wanders, and I mean my mind wanders constantly anyway as it is. But today it's it's a, like really bad, like not good at all. So. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should just, uh, maybe we should just do Reddit. Maybe this will be a short podcast. Or maybe what I should do is make a little segment that is dedicated to depression and anxiety and whatnot. So that when I am feeling that way, uh, that'll, because when I am feeling that way, I still have to do the podcast. So, so when, when I am feeling that way, doing the podcast, I should have that episode, that episode. Oh my God. What am I trying to say here? Um, I want to, I should make a segment or a full episode of this podcast is dedicated strictly to dealing with depression and anxiety. You know what I'm saying? 
So w- so when I'm in that depressive state, which is going to happen, you know, it's going to happen, I'll have to change my format of that episode to be uh, only related to techniques of dealing with depression or just depression in general. Because... To just sit here and talk about these topics, it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be the same. It's not the same. And I was thinking about, you know, I, oh God, I had a funeral this year or last. Well, was it this year? No, it was last year, in October. And then that was on my mind for some reason. And so that really fucked me up. I don't know. We're only 11 minutes in, almost 12 minutes. Well, actually, no, we're not. Because I uh, recorded a bunch in the beginning. Here's what I did. I clicked record on all my equipment, and then I sat down, was ready to start, and then I was like, shit, I don't have a hat on. Don't have the glasses, so I went to go grab the hat and the glasses, and then I realized, shit, I shouldn't be wearing this t-shirt. Should be, you know, because I try to wear a different shirt every episode. Uh, But I was like, fuck it, you know. It's just one of those days. And I have a headache, too, on top of everything. Not fun. Not fun, you see? I was watching The Office last night, as usual. Uh, because I want to get as much Office in as, as, a, as, you know, as I can before Netflix removes it. Which I think they're removing it in January of 2020, but I'm not 100% sure. Because NBC has decided that they're going to make their own streaming platform and that's where the office is going to be so either i subscribe to the nbc uh streaming platform which i'm not going to do or i just buy the whole office series which you know that would be uh even if it even if the office ended up staying on netflix I'd still probably consider buying the whole series anyway. Because uh, it's good to have. And there's bloopers and outtakes and shit on there. It's my, it's one of my favorite shows of all time. I cannot get enough of it. The Office helps me with my anxiety. Quite a bit, actually. Which is a uh, strange... That might come across as something strange. Like, how does a TV show help? Well, it just does. It's, like, comforting. You know? And I just remembered something else I didn't do. It was clean the lens. There's all these things I'm supposed to do before I start the podcast. And my mind is so scrambled that I didn't even think about those things that I... That, you know, come naturally. <sighs> Uh, yeah, it's not fun. It's shitey. S H I T T. How do you spell shitey? Shitey. How would you spell that? Shitey. Shite. I don't know. Shite. Shite. There's got to be a way to spell shite, right? I just can't think of how you would do it. S H I T E, maybe. Shite. That sounds. That seems right. It doesn't matter. Why the fuck am I talking about that? <sighs> can't even scream. Can't even bring myself to scream. How y'all doing on this Wednesday afternoon? 
Uh, for, if you don't know, or if you haven't noticed, which you haven't because there's nobody watching, and that's a trend of mine to say on here, but anyway, uh, this podcast is uploaded every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon. Originally, I did it at 5 p.m., but then I changed my mind and said noon is better. Hallelujah. So you know what? Oh, fuck. Enough of this bullshit, right? Let's just... Let's just do some goddamn Reddit. And, uh... Yeah. And we'll call her a podcast. I know. I know. I know, okay? Like, you might be saying, well, what the fuck? Why the... Why do you even bother? If it's gonna be this shitty, why do you even bother? Well, because I'm committed. That's why. I have to... There's so many things in my life, pretty, well, I think everything I've ever done in my life, I've never committed to fully. Well, I shouldn't say that. I com- I always commit fully to things, but I never stick to it. I always, always, I always fail. Well, not fail, but I, I leave. I get away. It's it becomes too much for me mentally, and I leave. I remember uh, my first day of kindergarten, and that that okay. So my first day of kindergarten, I screamed and I cried, and I did not want to leave home. Uh, the thought of being in a school all that was my first real. Uh, that was my first introduction to anxiety and depression. And obviously I had no idea what was going on then. All I knew is that it sucked and I didn't want to leave home. I was the only one who cried. And then pretty well every year up until maybe grade five, I would cry the first day of school every year. And so in kindergarten, not only did I cry the first day and like scream and want to go home I also didn't hang out with anyone at recess time I would only hang out with these uh like teachers aides the people who who like women who would stand outside and watch the children while they're playing at recess to make sure they don't get in fights or whatever I would just hang out with them I would out of the whole school year, I did not go on the jungle gym or in the play area once. I just stayed with those teachers. But I, but in the classroom, I opened up. I remember that. I made friends in the classroom. But, man, like, that feeling I had on the first day of kindergarten is the same feeling I still feel to this day when new situations arrive in my life and it brings me right back to kindergarten and I often wonder what could have been done differently in the way I was raised to prevent all this from happening so there was the there's the whole school thing, and then I was in cadets. Uh, dropped out of that. Not only was I in cadets, but we had summer camp to go to, uh, which was in a completely different city, about four hours away from where I lived. Uh, it was on like an air force base with, you know, all kinds of military people. And I was probably one, maybe two weeks into that and freaked out, called my mom to come pick me up. Um, And then, of course, there was college. I went to college, two different colleges, dropped out both times. Um, And then, of course, all my all my YouTube series is series that I've ever made. God, this is terrible to talk about. I never committed to any of them. I committed, but I didn't stick to it. There's just so many things 
that have happened in my life that I just didn't stick to, and then I regret it. Sometimes. I don't always regret it. Because I just knew in that moment, in that moment, I was, you know, it was complete fear and anxiety and depression. It was all, like, mashed into one. It was so petrifying to me that, like, I couldn't, I couldn't handle staying. The thought of staying in those places was, it didn't feel like an option to me. Every, like every everyone else around me seemed completely fine. Maybe they were a bit nervous, but there's no way. No, I could tell no one felt the way I felt. I was always over exaggerated in my feelings. And when and when it gets to that point when I t- and then I tell myself I got to leave. I don't stop until I can find a way out. Like one of the colleges, I went to Vancouver Film School, right out of high school. And I remember when my parents dropped me off at the condo that I was that I was living in in Vancouver. They left and went back to went back home in the other province. And as soon as they left and shut the door, I immediately broke down crying, which is, you know, normal. It's a, it's your first time being away from home, but, you know, I kind of got over that a bit. And then, you know, I started school, was there for about a month or two or three, and then I was like, this is way too intense for me. So I just fucking dropped out and I went back home. I have a real problem with coming to terms with, you know, accepting that difficult situations are necessary in life. But I feel like I've always been, uh, since, since my mother was always willing to uh, allow me to step out of the situations that I hated. You know, I kind of developed this this attitude of, if I don't like this, I just got to leave. You know, it's like this panic moment. Complete fear sets in. And so I just, I just leave. But then, you know, the thing, but, I um, was also trying to become a mechanic, which I did not want to do ever. Like, the thing is about Vancouver Film School, I wanted to go there. But when I was doing the mechanicking, I just I just decided to do it because I had no money and I needed work. And then I was doing the college, the schooling for that. And then I said, fuck it, I'm done with this shit. Well, actually, I did. Actually, I didn't. That's not true. I was laid off. Well, there was a point where I was gonna leave, and then I changed my mind, and then I got laid off anyway. So, but now the job that I'm in, I've been here. I've been doing it for three or four years now, and uh, there's been plenty of times where this job has uh, made me have to work in another city sometimes nine hours away sometimes four hours away sometimes only a half hour away but no matter how far away it is if i don't get to come home that night if i have to stay in a hotel or whatever uh, it's just absolutely terrifying and so that's why i'm worried but you know even though it was terrifying i still stuck with it because I, you know, I had to. There's no, there's no, there's no dropping out of the job you're in. Because if you do, then you're fucked, you know. That's life. Life is, the life we've created is, 
Oh, it's insane. It's insane. You know? Uh, so what was I trying to get at here? So, yeah, what I'm worried about is... Because uh, it's almost guaranteed that I'm going to have to work away again. Who knows when? You never know when that call is going to come. And that's the other fucking anxiety-ridden thing is that... You know, you're at home, you're enjoying yourself, and and then you get that 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 call that says, "Hey, you gotta go work here for two months," and it's like, "Fuck me." When I when I get those calls, it's just instantaneous misery, absolute misery. There's nothing I hate more than not being able to come back home. And that is the true fear of mine. And it stems back to, like, pretty well the beginning of my life. And it's crazy. It's crazy how I haven't gotten over that yet. And who knows if I ever am. And if I don't, like, what's going to happen? I don't even know. I have no idea. And so then those thoughts come into my brain. And it's just, it's ridiculous. It sucks. Okay, 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 okay. Enough about that. Enough about me. I'm just going to do a quick Reddit session just to make this podcast a little tolerable because I'm sure nobody's listening at this point, you know? Unless you're relating to what my situation is, but I don't know. Even then, you probably don't want to listen to it still because it's too fucking, it's too sad. It's too shitty. It sucks. So. Um, oops. Here we go. Okay. Hello, Olive. Mildly interesting subreddit. The perfect placement of this pizza box and Amazon box. Oh my. Yeah, that is perfect. So we got a pizza box with the two holes as eyes and then upside down Amazon box as as the frown. It does look like a Ninja Turtle. That's beautiful. Seeing stuff like that in life is... is so wonderful. I love it. Real life trials, not the video game. Have you ever played Trials? It's a fun game. It's like a a dirt biking game. It's kind of like a plat- side scrolling platformer game, but it's like three D. I'm sure you know what it is. Anyway, I'm sh- this video is basically going to demonstrate what the video game is pretty much like. To traverse this section uh, whoops. in both directions. I can't hear it. You can hear it, but I can't. It's another thing I forgot to do. See this shit? Like, look how crazy this is. That's insane! Oh my god! Now, can he clear this jumbled pile of A-frames, you could call it? Holy fuck! How do you do that? First section. Yes, he's dropped one mark now. And he's got to go back and do it again. Can he get over it in the other direction? He's done it once already tonight. He did drop a mark on that occasion. Here he goes. Oh, <laughs> what? There, I was not expecting that. This is crazy. The the obstacle should be fairly straightforward. For the observer in the background signaling. Whoa. For Tony, still be 
three ahead if he keeps that score at the end of section one. Holy fuck, that is crazy. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. And like he's just standing there. Like he's balancing. He doesn't have his foot on the ground when he's when he's uh you know just sitting there. I saw this one today on the toilet. Cat with a muscly arm. Uh, I've been flinging shit into my neighbor's yard for over three years. Uh, okay. This dog has been in my life since I was about five years old. He is old now, but also very loved. Okay. Uh. Do you think he's tried DMT? I eat elk. <laughs> Funny. Because Joe wrote, this is Joe Rogan subreddit. Making chocolate? Demogorgon. What's a Demogorgon? This is, is this the Strangers Thing? Stranger Things soundtrack? It really sounds like it. Is it Demi Gorgon from Stranger Things? I haven't seen the newest seasons. Is this even a strange the Stranger Things? Yeah, it is. That looks like it. I think. I haven't seen season two or three. I'm sorry. I probably sound like a noob. Man, this guy's really good. Take that! I, uh, I have trouble starting new TV shows as well. Um, when I find a good show I like, and if I really like it, like The Office, I'll usually just keep watching it over and over again. Like I said, I'm, I have trouble with change. The only thing I, the only change I don't have trouble with is food. I'm always willing to try new food. Always. And I know people who are the opposite. And they are, you know, they're like, uh, when I, when I find something I like, I stick to it in terms of food. But everything else, they're willing to try new things. But for me, any sort of change in my life other than food, uh, it's terrifying. Terrifies me. I have issues that need to be dealt with. You dig? Okay, you know what? That's it. I, I can't do any more. Uh, I can't, I just, <sighs> I know, I know, I know, it sucks, it sucks for me as much as it sucks for you, it sucks more for me than it does for you, but that's the way the cookie crumbles, I can't deal with myself. I have issues in my brain. <sighs> so anyway, uh, that's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 97. I hope you enjoyed it, although you probably didn't. I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. keep him in prison and then give him assault charges and make him go to trial and that's just redonk man <laughs> <laughs>